Hey friend, welcome back to RGD Gaming, least toxic, most fun community in all gaming. And welcome back to part 6 of my Zeri series. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. I find that current guides are great, but they don't talk about champions and different situations. Whether it's with different teammates or against different enemies, it's impossible to cover all that in one video. Hence this series. You don't need to watch them in any order, but with the Zeri guide is the best one to start with, so if you haven't watched that, it's because I talk about the build and runes and just the basics of Zeri. And so if you haven't watched that yet, be sure maybe pause this video, go check that out, come back and finish this. If you have a general concept of Zeri and a build you like and runes, then you can just go right into this video. Let me start with a question. Would you prefer a support or ADC that pairs well with your champion or one that the person playing that champion is really proficient with? Comment your answers below. I'm curious to see what you think. Personally, I don't mind if somebody picks a champion that doesn't pair well with me as an ADC, as long as they play the champion well. In this gameplay, you're going to see Zeri Leona, which is an unconventional bot lane pairing. I'm going to talk about how to work with your support's kit, believing in your support and solo queue, which can be tough at times, and what to do in the mid to late game after your tower is gone or after their tower is gone. We'll talk about what your role is and how to give your team the best chance of victory. Let's face it, there's no guarantee of a win in Wild Rift. I've been on both ends of ridiculous comebacks and backdoors to end games. Leona is not the support that I want, but she is the one that I got. And quite frankly, that was actually a really great play by her and really aggressive. And normally I wouldn't play that aggressive. If you watch the other videos in my series, I'm always talking about play safe, stay back, you know, farm your waves wait for the right opportunity, but Leona's are gonna Leona, and they can't help it but to dive in, get their stun off, use their shield, and try to get kills early on in the match. And so what do I need to do? If this is what my support's gonna do, I gotta go for it with them. I can't just leave them to die, and it's, let's see if we can get this here. I'm able to get, so we were able to get those kills early, and it helped me get my ultimate, so I got level five, and now let's see what we're going to do against this gank. We get another kill, and can we get Ezreal? We get Ezreal. Okay, so this is a beautiful start. And so very untraditional for Zeri to be so aggressive so early. But when you have a support that wants to play aggressive and somebody who is good on the champion, you just got to roll with it. And that solo queue life, like most of it, is just rolling with what your team is going to do. You sort of have to have an idea going into a match how it's going to play out. But I'll be honest, I didn't assume that I was going to dive them, the enemy team, two times in the first four and a half minutes of the match. But here we are. Okay, so we've got four kills, one assist, a bunch of gold. And what do we want to do? We want to ideally get our tower. You saw me trying to take our tower down. I couldn't quite get it, but I didn't want to force it. And now I need to be at team fights, specifically Dragon. So I want to help our team take Dragon. We get it for free. If they trade Rift for Dragon, that's fine. And now we want to take out this tier one tower. So that way we open up the map and I can get to fights more often. Uh, this is, gets a little funny that Ezreal, I mean, honestly, did a great job. Like he did everything he could do to survive that with his dashes and his blink. Um, and now they're running it down mid lane here. Thank goodness they didn't get the inhibitor tower while we were taking ours. So let's see. Can we get them? I think they're going to get away from us here. They're just a little bit too fast. Um, but what I, what I was saying, I want to be at every objective and every single team fight that I can be at because I'm very strong. And if I can have my team tank for me, specifically Leona, we have a misfortune ultimate as well, which is just crazy. Like our team fight potential is so huge with Leona tanking damage, Trindomir's ultimate, Misfortune's ultimate, and my ultimate, and even Malf too. Like this, I, <laughs> I didn't even realize this until how good this team fight comp is. But what you don't want to do is get caught like that, and so you got to be a little bit safe. Fortunately, I think they're gonna dive this too far. Yeah, like they're getting in way too deep when they're too low. And so we were able to capitalize on a mistake on my part. And they had to use a bunch of things on me to take me down, which is worth it for them. But they should have just taken me down, backed off, and looked at their next play. And so what do I need to do? So I need to, I want to farm up right now. 
I want to rotate two objectives, and when Leona lands something like that, I just want to jump on it and take the kill. Um, so we get Ezreal. Let's see if we can get this mid tower here. And something with uh, Zeri, you shoot the tower with your attacks and then use your abilities to get the waves when you're trying to take out towers. It's almost always the most proficient way. And always use the tower just like that, so that way you can get a lot of damage on the entire wave. But let's see. He's coming for us. Let's see. Should hit that tower. Yeah, take it out. And now we trap him. Leona does a great job. And we're able to take down Master Yi. Now, this is a little dicey. Leona's low. Set's coming. And I need to bounce over a wall here. Um, I flash. My bounce is up. And then I shot that second ability so that way I could slow him down. But I need to keep backing off just in case they're still chasing us. They chased me one time, or they chased our team one time. So they're probably willing to do it again. And now I thought I was going to reset, but I really want this vision here. And now I see that Annie's coming, and I think, okay, if Annie's going to come with this wave, we can trap her and maybe get a kill. And they we actually ping that we're doing just that. So I'm going to farm this wave casually. Let our team kind of get ahead here, you know, let them wrap around. So I didn't want to scare any off. Um, that's why I kind of stayed back a little bit. And now I'm able to get off a good ultimate. And we've got a fight breaking out, but there's a lot of them around me. And so what am I doing? I'm waiting. So I, I had two options there. I jumped the wall hoping he wouldn't hit me at the last second with his ability where he'd come with me. Um, or you can wait out that ability. Wait till he uses it, shows back up. You got to take a hit there. And then jump the wall, but just make sure you don't take him with you, because that's like the worst thing, and he's just going to kill you over the wall. And then your jump is wasted as well. And now we're fighting for Dragon. This is probably not a great fight. They really want Annie at their team fights, so that way Annie can tank a bunch of damage with her bear. Um, but unfortunately Annie wasn't there, so we were able to get the Dragon, and he goes down again. This Yi is trying. I mean, he's... he's He's going places, but unfortunately he's dying a lot. Now, this is going to be a great team fight for us. Like, they're grouped way too deep. And let's see what we can do. I'm able to get my ultimate off on Janna. Jump a wall and get behind them, which is where I kind of want to be right at this moment. And now I'm going to be able to steal shields from Set, steal shield from Annie. And let's see if we can get them. And we get three and four. Quadra kill. Okay. Beautiful. And now I kind of want to take Baron, but we need to reset. Like, we're all pretty low, and the, the timer was a little bit long. Like, if, if Baron was 10, 15 seconds shorter, then we could have taken it. But really, we just need to reset. And as zero goes down, that's unfortunate for them. Uh, but we should be sort of posturing around Baron. We have Ezreal down. And if they make a mistake here, like, let's see. Yeah, so Yi comes, gets blown up, and now they would have to take... An unfavorable fight right there if they wanted to. Let's see. Can we get another kill? Leona's diving like crazy. So that was great. Good dive by Leona. Now we get Baron. So we really should just be focusing Baron. Misfortune was going the wrong way. I don't mind her shoving the wave necessarily. And they surrender. Okay. So what's the lesson here? Once you get ahead in lane, you need to take out the tower. It's fine if you lose yours, but the map needs to open up and you need to be at the team fights so that way you can carry your team to victory and win the match. If you are ahead and you don't use that to get into more fights and into team fights with your team, that's how you're going to lose matches. So you're going to crush lane, you're going to get all these kills, and then all of a sudden you're going to lose because you're not showing up at fights with your team. So make sure that you're rotating as soon as you can once you get a little bit of a lead.